hey loves welcome back to my channel so today i want to do a you know just sit down girl talk ulta and sephora haul so as um i think you'll see the video before this um which is going to be a weekly vlog and that one i did do an ulta haul in it but so i know a lot of people come to my channel for like makeup and you know makeup specific type of videos so i was like you know what let me just do an actual separate video um so you don't have to you know scroll through the two hour long vlog and to just look for the haul um i'm just doing like a separate haul for you guys this right here was just so unexpected y'all like so unexpected where do we start like where do we start one thing I want to say is that I miss doing these type of videos. Like, I just, I truly, truly miss it. Y'all, today my makeup actually came out pretty, pretty cute. Like, I don't do cut creases like that. And I definitely haven't, you know, added, like, rhinestones and stuff to my makeup in a long time. I just want to do something different. But, um, let me not ramble because that's what I got my vlogs for. To just talk, 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 talk. Let's get to the Sephora and Ulta haul. Okay, so let's do Sephora first because I don't think I have as many items as Ulta. Sephora is literally like the only place that I know where you can get five items and spend over $100. Like, insane. Like, literally, like, mind-blowing. Anyways, so I always wanted to try the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And don't worry, I'm going to do a whole bunch of close-ups so you can see the exact shade and color and everything like that. I've always wanted to get this and try it out because I have the mini travel size NARS um, concealer and it's actually really good. To be honest, I should have gotten the full size of that one, but you know... I wasn't even thinking about it but I've always wanted to try this I've heard really good reviews about this and I'm like you know what like let me just see what this is about so um yeah this is the first thing that I got and I am in the shade medium 3 prey lean so I was scrolling on YouTube and I saw that Ariel was doing Huda's makeup and he was just giving tips and tricks and he was using all of Huda's makeup products and I'm like oh my goodness I have to try her products I've actually always seen her products in Sephora and I've always wanted to try them but I just never you know got around to it so I picked up the luminous matte full coverage liquid foundation and I am in the shade cinnamon 440g I absolutely cannot wait to try this foundation like I've heard such good things about this foundation and I'm like mm, 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 mm. I gotta try it. I'm actually gonna do a full face of testing all of my makeup products in a video next week. So next Wednesday you should see that video. The next thing I got is the Travel Size Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade Banana Bread. The only reason why I got the Travel Size was because in the full size, they did not have, they were sold out of the Banana Bread shade. And for me, I love a bright under eye. So it was between this one and the shade that was right next to it. I don't know what shade, I don't know what the name of that shade was, but... The lady that was helping me was so freaking sweet and her makeup and her lashes and her earrings and just her whole look was just like, ah, she just looks so beautiful. But um, she was so sweet and she was helping me out. She was like, look, if you want to try out this product, let me go and see if they have one in like a mini version. So she found one and I was like, perfect. To be honest, this is something that I always recommend to people, especially going to Sephora because Sephora's products are a little bit more expensive. Um... If you are trying something for the first time and that brand offers a mini version of that, get the mini version, try it out. If you like it, then go and get the, you know, the regular size. Um, I just think that works out. And that actually explains when I was saying that I had the NARS soft, um, when I was saying that I had the NARS concealer, I had that in travel size because I just wanted to try it out. And if it worked out, I was going to go and get the regular size. So yeah. This one is in the shade Baby Bake, and I'm just so excited to try this because I love me a matte, soft, luminous, um, what is another word? Uh, flawless under eye, okay? I love one. 
Next, I got the Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer, and mine is in the shade Toasted Almond. I, like I said, all of Huda's products I've just heard good reviews about, and I just cannot wait to try this out. I wanted to get the contour. I wanted to get her um, liquid, I think it was, let me see the name of it before I like don't say the correct name i wanted to get her contour and bronzer cream but for some reason that is sold out in every single sephora that i can find i cannot find that i may have to go on the actual huda beauty website to find it but um yeah i wanted to try that didn't have it so i was not able to get it but i did get the concealer and we're gonna test that bad boy out now in previous videos ago i did a review on the fenty beauty skin tint but the only downfall about it was that it was not in my correct shade. I think I had gotten like a shade tattoo light. And I used the shade 16 in that one. But I needed shade 17. So um, I got the shade 17 in the skin tint. And I just am so happy that I can finally use this. I only used it once because it was just a shade tattoo light. But now, now that I got this. Oh baby, you know I'm about to be using this, okay? And this is just perfect for when you just don't want to put on like, you know, foundation and you just want something light on your face. This right here is just any skin tint. Yeah, I'm using that, okay? Now, let's go to Ulta, okay? <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes when I am going to a certain Sephora or Ulta, I may find more products at, or I may find more things at one Ulta than the other Ulta. So that's why I have two separate bags because I went to one Ulta that was close to me. I didn't really see anything that I liked or that I really wanted, but then I went to another Ulta and I saw a lot more things. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I got is... This is just a, a re-up of something that I just wanted to get more of. Um, I feel like when it comes to mascara, you can never have too many mascaras. I don't know. But this is the Essence Lash Princess, and this is the green one. This one right here, when I tell you it is, when it comes to mascaras and eyeliners, um, sometimes even eyeshadows, but mainly mascaras and eyeliners, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money for a good lash, um, for a good mascara or a good eyeliner. Essence, $4.99, okay? Their eyeliner are also very, very, very good. The mascara, they offer different mascaras with different wands. So, so good, like, so good. I always tell people whenever they ask what is a good mascara to use, I am not spending a whole bunch of money on mascara or eyeliner unless it's just like an eyeliner or mascara that I just wouldn't get the same quality in another one or it's a certain color of liner or mascara that I just cannot find in a drugstore brand. But this right here, I will always be going to Essence for mascara. Like it's just so good. So the next thing I got is I wanted another um, concealer brush. So I got the e.l.f. blending brush. And this right here, when I tell you, I am just like, when it comes to the simple things, like I'm just so excited <laughs> to try this out. This right here, yeah, it's going to make my blending for concealer a lot better. I am going to do an updated flawless base routine. And I noticed that, just like a quick like, side note I noticed that when I do when I blend my concealer out with a brush and then at the end if I need to you know blend out the um blend out the edges of the concealer with the sponge I will but I found that I got more coverage and it just looks a little bit more flawless and airbrushy using a concealer brush and even using a foundation brush rather than a sponge so um or a beauty blender <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to get another one just to have one I feel like you can never have enough brushes or mascara <laughs> another oldie but a goodie that I just had to pick up just to have a backup of a backup of a backup is the elf lock on liner and brow cream and I am in the shade espresso that's the shade that I am actually currently using on my brows right now this shade and this like 
the quality this will never ever ever fail me and this is something that i will always run back to i feel like the most expensive brow cream that i have is the anastasia beverly hills brow gel um or brow cream that one i tried that for the first time when i was like a freshman in college and then I discovered e.l.f. and I never went back. I actually like literally recently just re-upped on the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow cream. And so I was like, oh my gosh, let me go and try this out because I hadn't used this in so long. Let me see if I still like it and see if the formula is still the same. But nonetheless, it really is still good and I still truly do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow cream. This right here is the one that I will always, always, always go back to. Because for one, it's just amazing. And for two, it's just amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to get another one of that. Y'all, I found a black lipstick. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to get another matte lipstick. But I can never find it. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of brands don't sell just like black lipstick. But when I went to Ulta, I was like, let me see if there's any new lipsticks that I want to try. Maybelline. Maybelline came out with a... I don't even know if this is new or not. I have no idea. But this is in the shade 285 Thrill Seeker. And when I say... Oh my God. Okay. This right here, I just... I can't. Like, I am just, like, truly obsessed like truly obsessed i absolutely love black lipstick i just feel like it just makes a makeup look pop i did a previous video like videos ago um using and i was wearing black lipstick in my on one of my videos so yeah i don't know it just made me think about it <laughs> now this right here is a product that i always hear people talking about they always they always compare this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer to the Milk Grip Primer. I love the Milk Grip the Milk Grip Primer. I actually have it in the mini version because I wanted to try it out and see if I liked it. And once I run out of that, I'm definitely going to get the regular size because it is so good. This right here, I'm going to be honest with you. I heard great reviews on this and great reviews on the Milk one. But a lot of people say that this one is better. Don't know why. I don't know. I've never tried it. But I am going to do a, you know, testing new makeup video. And I'm going to try this out. And as well in my testing new makeup video, I'm going to do a wear test. So you guys can see how my makeup looks for the rest, like, all day. I have, um, combination skin. And combination skin is when, like, your T-zone area, like, your T-zone area, your nose and your forehead is primarily oily. But for me, the rest of my skin, my cheeks and everything like that is more of like normal. But like my T-zone area is like oily and I just, I can't stand it. So we're going to do a true wear test when I do my testing new makeup video. And you guys will get to see how my makeup looks and how it holds up all day. I'm going to take shots outside so you guys can see it. Inside and different lighting and everything like that so you guys can see it. So the next thing that I got is the Duo white and clear um lash glue this is the lash glue that i just always love and i'm gonna be honest with y'all don't judge me but i am that girl that i will use hair glue <laughs> i will use hair glue um from the beauty supply store as lash glue if i was to literally run out of this i will be using that um but this is the lash glue that i've always used and i just absolutely love using this it's so good it doesn't hurt at all when you take your lashes off it literally when i say you can literally put this on your lashes like take it out put it on your lash take it out put it on the second lash and let it sit let it sit for literally like five seconds and put it on and it's just ready to wear like it's just it doesn't take long for it to get tacky and like ready to just go on and wear and it's just so easy to work with and i love that it's not too much product that comes off of this um comes out of the um you know what i'm trying to say that comes out of the tube i couldn't think of it but this right here is the one that i just always always use it's it's so good and I love that it dries clear because I cannot stand lash glue that shows color. I don't even like black lash glue. Um, I want lash glue that is like 
clear because like for instance today I am not wearing um black liner so if I was to use a black lash glue or a lash glue that was color and didn't dry down clear you would be able to see it but you know yeah now this right here the CeraVe healing ointment is so so good when I say so good so anybody who knows me I do not do a one two three four five six seven eight step skin skincare routine don't do it all I use is a cleanser and water and that's it and I just finish it off with this a nice moisturizer I have like two I have this one and the um oh my gosh I can't think of it let me be right back so these two are the only moisturizing creams that I use on my face okay I use this every now and again but this one is like my everyday um to be honest especially in the winter time like my skin gets a little bit drier than usual it's just you know because it's cold outside it's just the winter and everything like that so this right here all I use normally is my CeraVe cleansing um is my CeraVe cleanser and then I'll just finish it off with this put this moisturizing cream on behind it and my face literally feels moisturized all day and I love the consistency of this because it's literally thick so you don't need a lot and it lasts so so long so I just picked up another one of these. This is a little smaller than the um, regular size that I have, but this is just perfect just to be on the go if you just want to put it in your purse or if you just want to bring this on the go with you, it's the perfect like mini small size. But um, this right here, I always tell people if you have dry skin, this is amazing. And this says that it protects and soothes dry, cracked and shaved skin. Even when I have like dry skin on my arms, on my legs, anywhere on my body and even eczema. I'll, you, I'll put this on it and it will literally soothe you know the the skin and it'll make me not itchy or what have you so um this right here is just amazing I did not buy this in the recent um shopping spring I've had this for a long time but this Pons is amazing I use the Pons as a moisturizer before I put on my makeup and when I tell you my makeup just glides on my skin so buttery amazing like I freaking love this for prepping my skin it's it's just literally so good so um yeah all right this right here this is the kiss so wispy lashes and this right here I don't know if you'll be able to see the name of it but like I said, I'm going to do a close-up of all these products so then you can see it and you get the names, the style, and everything like that. But this is just like the perfect lash for someone who doesn't like to wear lashes or someone who just wants more of a natural lash. Um, if you want like an everyday lash, this right here is just so good. I love using Kiss for like natural everyday lashes, especially when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look or if I'm just not wearing any makeup at all but I want to wear lashes, this right here is just my go-to. It's not too wispy, it's not too dramatic, it's not too out there. It's just like perfect, you know, just perfect. Okay, so this one right here, I don't buy eyeshadow palettes often. For me, in order for me to want to buy an eyeshadow palette, the shadows have to be unique. I feel like when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, like you'll see one and the only way I would really want to buy one is if there's like two or three or four shades in there that I just don't have in any of my palettes and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. But this one right here, let me open it real quick. This, look at the shadows. Oh my gosh. It just looks so beautiful. This is literally like the everyday type of shadows that I would wear um, if I just want like an everyday type of look or like a smoky eye brown look I'm going for this okay and I'm gonna sip some coffee while I'm putting this on my face because I mean this is called the coffee shop so why not but um I definitely am gonna do a makeup look with this and I just feel like I have the perfect brown like dark brown lipstick that I bought like a while ago around Christmas yeah yeah this makeup look is gonna be bomb it's gonna be bomb like I just 
one thing I get excited about is eyeshadow palettes. Like, I just, I love eyeshadow. Just because I feel like when it comes to your makeup, you have to figure out what you want to be the center of attention. Whether you want a bold eyeshadow look, like for me right now, I have a bold eyeshadow look. I have like the rhinestones and it's just a more of a bolder look. And so I have like subtle lips. Don't have dramatic lip color or anything. I want the focus to be on my eyeshadow. When it comes to a makeup look, you kind of have to choose which one you want the center of attention to be. Whether you want like a soft, sultry, subtle eyeshadow look and then a bold lip. Or you want a more dramatic eyeshadow look that is the center of attention and then like a subtle lip. You don't want to ever have like... I mean, you can do both. Baby, you can go off. You can do both. Like, And I feel like when you do both, it's just always beautiful too. But for me, I just, you know... I just pick and choose what I want to be the center of attention, whether it's just my eyes or if I want my lips to be the center of attention. So, yeah. And I also want to say there's absolutely no rules to makeup. You do your makeup however you want it. As long as you like it and as long as you're slaying it, that's all that matters, okay? So there's there's absolutely no rules. And that's what I love about makeup. It's literally art. Like the process of getting ready and doing your makeup and seeing the transformation is like my favorite, favorite part. Which is also why I love filming tutorials and filming videos because to see my face go from no makeup to slang makeup, it's just, I love looking at that, okay? Now, last but not least, like I said before, when it comes to skincare, I don't do too much. I don't have a whole bunch of different cleansers that I use. I don't do none of that. My skin is actually really sensitive and I've actually gotten my skin to be clear in where I want it to be. So for me, I just feel like if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I'm not going to be using a whole bunch of different cleansers and stuff like that because I don't want to break my face out, if that makes sense. But... I did get the La Roche, La Roche Pose Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I wanted to try this out. I normally use the, um, what's it going to focus here? I normally use the Sarah V Cleanser. That's my go-to cleanser that I use literally every single day. It's just so, so good. But you know what? I was like, let me try out a new cleanser and see how I like it because, you know, I, I love my CeraVe cleanser, but I've been using that for years and I've been using it like for so long. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just try a new cleanser and see how I like it. And if I do like it, I will definitely let you guys know. And maybe I'll do an update of Sephora and Ulta haul just to update you guys on what worked and what didn't work, especially when it comes to my um, skin products, which is the foundation that I got from Huda Beauty, the setting powder, the, um, the concealer and yeah i want to update you guys also sometimes i may put updates in my vlogs so you know yeah y'all what happened <laughs> so it is hours later okay i filmed the sephora and ulta haul earlier this morning it's hours later i went to kohl's i went to kohl's and you know kohl's has a sephora in it I went to Kohl's to look for a vacuum cleaner. How did I end up in Sephora and spending $85? Like I said, Sephora is the only place where you can buy five items and spend $85, okay? Oh no, wait, um, four items and spend $85. <laughs> okay, this right here, the one size setting spray. This is the mattifying waterproof setting spray. Y'all, when I tell you this is like crack in a can. It's so freaking good. Like, I did not spray this on my face today because I have the mini size because every time I try to get the full size, it was never in stock. And so I was there looking and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's in stock. I'm still trying to find the uh, mattifying primer. That is also never in stock when I go in Sephora. But I got this in the full size because it is so freaking good. Like, so good it literally makes your makeup last all day i mean this right here if i was to recommend a setting spray it would be between this one and the 
Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Those two are the only setting sprays that I literally use. Like, literally use the only setting sprays, okay? Get you one, okay? And if you don't want to try the full size, get the mini version and try that out. See how that works for you. And if you like it, just go and invest in this, okay? It's an investment. It's, it's so good, okay? So good. I got the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Satin Deep Black, and this is number 01. This, the Sephora eyeliners are so good. I really like this eyeliner because the tip is more of a stiffer tip, so you have a lot more control, as opposed to a an eyeliner that has more of a, what is it, a tip that isn't stiff. It's hard to explain, but... Um, this Sephora eyeliner is so good. This this eyeliner is like black, like it gets black, black. And it's just so good. It's a really good eyeliner. I always buy these. Whenever I go to Sephora, I'm like, oh my gosh, let me just get another one. Because I mainly use black eyeliner, so I go through these a little bit like fast. So um, yeah, I just wanted to pick this up because this is just always so good. Plus this was 50% off and this is like $12, so 50% off was $6. So yeah, I had to get this. Okay, so I was looking at the Fenty Beauty section and I saw this lip gloss and this is Champ Stamp Fantasy 10. When I tell you this lip gloss is so beautiful, y'all, hold on. This is so beautiful and look at this. Oh my gosh, like this color. It's just, it's so beautiful. Oh, when I tell y'all, I just focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, focus on me. Okay. <laughs> when I tell y'all, I cannot wait to put this on my lips. And this will be one of the lip glosses that I will always wear and just always go to because it's just so beautiful. Next, cookie jar. This is in the shade 04 cookie jar. I don't wear a lot of like brown lip glosses. I love me a good like pinky or clear lip gloss. But y'all, hold on. If I can get the hair out of my face. This is the Fenty Cream. And do you see how beautiful this is? Oh my God. Do you see how pretty this color is? Like, it's just so pretty. Like, I literally saw this. Focus, focus. Okay. <laughs> I literally saw this and I was like, I have to get this color. It is so beautiful. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I just want to show you guys the other um, products that I got. And I'm not buying any more makeup for a while I hope <laughs> yeah I'm not buying any more makeup for a while I hope and um, that's the end of my Sephora and Ulta haul I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys did and thank you so much for sticking around through the whole video honestly it doesn't seem like I got a lot of products but maybe I did I did get a lot of products actually now that I'm thinking about it Thank you beautiful people for watching this video and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. The sun is setting and guys, I got LED lights. And you know what that means? That means that whenever I have to film and like, you know, the sun is not out and it's just dark outside or if it's like an ugly rainy day, I'm turning on the LED lights and we're going to be in like a whole vibe. Like it's going to be a whole vibe in my videos. Like I have a vision. I have a literal vision. Okay. I have a vision. But yeah. Um, thanks babes for sticking around and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.